folks, here is example two that somehow got cut out of the last video. Anyway, we have example two. A cheesecake is taken out of the oven with an internal temperature of 165 degrees and is placed in a refrigerator that is 35 degrees. After 10 minutes, the cheesecake is cooled to 150 degrees. If we must wait for the cheesecake has cooled until 70 degrees before we eat it, how much longer will we have to wait? So this is another classic case use of logarithms. And we're gonna use a formula, a special formula called Newton's Law of Cooling, okay? So, so Newton's Law of Cooling. It's a long formula but we'll talk about what each part means, okay? It is T equals, in parentheses, T sub zero minus T sub M, close parentheses, E to the negative KT plus T sub M, all right? Lots of T's here, but we'll talk about what they all mean. So, T sub zero stands for the initial temperature, while T sub M stands for the temp of the medium. And by medium, I mean the surrounding temperature, which in this case is the refrigerator. The regular letter T is just our final temperature. Our lowercase, our lowercase t is time. K is the cooling constant. And E is our 2.718-ish. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and plug in the numbers that we have into this equation, all right? And we're gonna split this kind of into two steps. So, step one, we're gonna find and we're gonna find K, and then once we find that, we're gonna be able to use K to help us find the T, which is our time. All right, so our final temperature is 150 degrees. That is gonna be equal to the original temperature of 165 minus the temperature of the fridge, which is 35, E to the negative, we don't know K, but we know that T is 10, plus that 35 degrees, okay? Now to find K, we're gonna do a little bit of uh, uh, computation, and then we're gonna use logs to help us get that K out of the exponent. All right, so first thing, I'm gonna move this 35 to the other side, and I've got 115 equals 130 e to the negative 10k. I'm gonna go ahead and divide that 130 to the other side. And then I'm gonna take the natural log of both sides. All right, now by rewriting it in log form, so rewrite in log form, this helps us find out um, the thing in the exponent that we don't know. All right, so our last step to find k then is we're gonna take this 
big fraction, 115 over 130, and we're going to divide it by negative 10. And when we type that all into the calculator, we should get 0 0.0123, okay? So this is our k value. And we're going to go ahead and use this. So use this to find t. All right, so that brings us to our step two which is use k to find t. All right, so I'm gonna write that formula again, just cause there's so many letters and I want us to know where we're gonna put everything. So our final temperature this time is not going to be um, 150, but it's going to actually be 70 because that's the temperature that we can eat that cheesecake. And since we're seeing how much longer it's going to take, we want to go from the time it was 150 and then their surrounding temperature or our medium temperature is still 35. E to the negative 0 0.0123 T plus 35. All right, so now that we filled in all the uh, numbers that we know, we're going to go ahead and isolate our T, okay? So I'm going to start, I'm going to move that 35 over here. I'm going to combine that, get 35 equals 115. Oh gosh, e to the negative 0.0123t. I'm going to divide both sides by the 115, so 35 over 115 equals e to the negative 0.0123t. Now I've got the same issue I had with the k, which is I got to get that t out of the exponent. And the way we do that is we rewrite it in log form. Okay, so we need log form. All right, so I'm gonna take a natural log of 35 over 115 equals negative 0.0123 t and then to find t I'll take that natural log and I'm going to divide it by negative 0 0.0123 which will give me 96.714 minutes until I can eat that cheesecake. 